Today, we will be discussing on the topic product life cycle. We start with the introduction. Every product that is introduced in the market has its own limited life. Based on the time period the product is introduced in the market and according to the nature of the challenges, opportunities and problems faced by the product, the life period of a product can be divided into four distinct stages. They are introduction, growth, maturity and decline. The product exhibits distinct characteristic behaviors at different stages and therefore different management strategies are required. These stages starting from introduction up to decline is called the product life cycle. Graphically, the product life cycle curve is a bell shaped sales curve. The concept of product life cycle is borrowed from biological science where each organism passes through different stages of life namely birth, growth, maturity, decline and finally death. The time period of each stage of product life cycle vary across the product categories. It may range for a few weeks to a number of decades. The different stages of a product are the first one is introduction, second is growth, third is maturity and finally the fourth one is decline. First, let us discuss about introduction. Introduction is the first stage of the product life cycle and is sometimes called pioneering stage. It is the most risky and expensive stage because Substantial expenditure has been spent not only to develop the product but also to seek consumer acceptance of the offering as there may not be ready market for the product. Marketing objectives in this stage is to create demand through product awareness, trial and demonstration. At this stage, the marketing cost is high and sales of the product are low and consequently profit is less. The product is generally purchased by the innovators. Pricing and promotion are the two important decision variables at the introductory stage. Product company may choose to adopt either market skimming price or market penetration price. Depending upon the quality of the product and marketing objectives. If there is less competition, the price can be kept high, while for product with more competitions, low price may be preferable in this stage. An example of a product in introduction stage is 3D televisions. Now we come to the next stage that is growth stage. At this stage, the product becomes more widely accepted by the customers and hence sales and profit rise at a rapid rate. The company expands its product promotion spending and opens a number of new distribution outlets. Product is generally purchased by early adopter and early majority. The cost of development of the product is recovered and price starts reducing. Seeing the demand and the profit generated, new competitors enter the market with their own similar type of product. Primary marketing objective is to increase distribution, develop selective demand and maximize market share. Example of product in growth stage in the market is Android mobile handset. Now we come to the third stage of product life cycle that is maturity stage. Maturity stage is generally the longest stage of product life cycle. At this stage, sales and profit reach the peak and start declining. The market reaches saturation, price of product declines and there is intense competition. 
most of the products in the market are in this stance. To prolong the product life and to maintain the sale volume, marketing manager uses certain techniques and strategies. These are modifying product characteristics like quality, features, style, etc. New packaging mode and exploring new user and new market segments. Example of product in maturity stage is DVD player and mobile handset without Android. Now the fourth stage that is the decline stage. At this stage, the demand of the product decreases as new technically and functionally superior products become available in the market. Consumers taste has changed and become apathetic to the product and its price. The sales start declining fast, leading to a continuous fall in the margin and profit. Unsold products pile up in the inventory. The product faces reduced competition as many players left the market and no new competitor enters the market. Advertising and promotion expenses are also reduced. Customers in this category are the legats. Example of product in declining stage is VCR, video recorder, real camera and floppy disks. Different products have different length of life cycle. Some are short with only a few weeks while some are as long as a decade. Generally, consumers' products have shorter life cycle compared to business products. There are a number of factors which affect the length of life cycle of a product. These factors are product characteristics. Certain features of the product affect the rate at which it is accepted by the consumers. These include the first one is style, design, trend, and look. Second one is added features in the product. The third one is degree of ease and simplicity in the mode of operation and use of the product. The fourth one is compatibility with the time and season. The last and fifth one is degree of innovation associated with the product. Now, the next factor is marketing strategies employed. The ability of an individual company to influence the shape and length of the product life cycle depends a lot on the marketing strategies employed. If the company enters the market with a high price, it may affect sales growth, while a low to moderate price leads to higher adoption of the product. An expansion of promotion and distribution activity causes an increase in the sales. The next factor is technology. If the rate of technical change of the product is very high, the life of the product is limited because new and improved product takes place of all and the existing one. On the other hand, if the rate of change is not so high, the life of the product is longer. For example, the life cycle of electronic products like computer processor, RAM, etc. become absolute very fast as new versions are available. For products like car, watch, bicycle, etc., the rate of technical change is low and so have a longer life. The next factor is competition. Innovative companies enjoy a period of monopoly following product introduction. Lured by the profit margin, competitors enter the market causing it to move from monopoly to duopoly and then to oligopolistic market situation. If the entries of competitors are easy and unchecked, 
the life of the product will be short as new products enter the market. Now we come to the next factor that is economic and managerial force. Enterprises having strong economic and managerial force can keep their products standing in the market for a longer period than product having weak economic and managerial base. Government policies, taxation, import export policies and prevailing economic condition affect the product life cycle. Increase in interest rate and rising inflation reduces the purchasing power of people and hence reduces the demand. Now we come to the next part that is consumers category based on level of adoption of product. Based on the response and behavior of the consumer on the different stages of the product life cycle, there are five different product adoption groups. The first one is innovators. They are the first person to adopt the product and constitute 2.5% of the consumer group. They are risk takers and eager to try new ideas and products. They have high income and higher education level as compared to other category. The second group of consumer is called early adopters. They constitute 13.5% of the consumer group. They tend to be opinion leaders and rely on group norms. They have above average education level. They share their experience with the product and decide whether the product will have a short or long life. The third category is called early majority. They constitute 34% of the consumer group. They rely on friends, neighbors, and opinion leaders for information and norms. They collect more information and evaluate more brands than early adopters. They represent a large percentage of the population and cause the product to reach the growth stage. The fourth category of consumer is called lead majority. Lead majority constitute 34% of the consumer group. They are skeptical in nature and wait till the product is approved by others. They adopt the product due to social pressure. Their income and education level is below average. The fifth and last category of consumer is called the legards. Legards constitute 16% of the consumer group. They have the lowest socio-economic status and are the last category of people in the society to adopt the product. They do not rely on the norms of the group and adopt the product because no other alternatives are available. Now we come to the next part that is uses and applications of the product lifecycle concept. The concept of the product life cycle is an important principle manufacturers need to understand in order to make a profit and stay in business. However, the key to successful marketing management consists of proactively managing the products throughout their life, applying the appropriate resources and the marketing strategies. As a planning tool, this concept helps managers characterize the main marketing challenges in each stage of products, life, and develop major alternative marketing strategies. As a control tool, this concept helps 
the company to measure product performance against similar products launched in the past. However, in spite of the benefits and advantages product life cycle provides, one should approach with caution as it is difficult to recognize exactly where a product is in its life cycle. Also, the shape and duration of the life cycle varies due to a number of reasons. Though it is very fruitful for larger firms and companies, it is not appropriate in many situations. Now we come to the last part that is conclusion. Product life cycle is a well-established marketing concept that helps companies understand the typical progression of products in the marketplace and helps them in determining marketing strategies. To survive in the market, professional product management throughout the product life cycle is essential. The key is to be prepared to adopt sales, marketing, pricing, and promotional strategies through each stage. Appropriate strategies should be taken up at the right time to increase the longevity and profitability of the product in the marketplace. The perception of the product by the customer also has a direct impact on the business. It changes frequently and so the features of the products and services must be modified to cope with the changing demand. Overall, business innovation strategy must be dynamic and updated. That is all for today. Thank you.